Hey, you guys. How are you guys doing? It is time for another chit chat. Fair warning, I'm going to be sipping on some Chardonnay. Isn't she cute? I got this little bottle of Chardonnay from my local grocery store. And this is just two bottles and I mean, not two bottles, two glasses in here. I've had half of one. I'm going to pour another half and I'll save this. Girl, I'll save this for another day because I will be making us drinks today. Um, you guys, I'm recording on my phone because, baby, she's dead. She's done. Um, it is, it, the screen is cracked. Look at this. This is a, um, what do you call it? Um, this is a screen to protect the glass screen. I have dropped this thing three times now there's an issue with the memory slot so which is why i'm recording on my camera um because my return of interest or a lie is not that great on youtube i will probably not buy another camera for a while like probably next spring because i can still record on my um, phone and i just i'm not getting the views that i typically would get on my channel anyhow so i figure what's another four five six months i will be recording like i said on my phone until i can get another camera so you guys, like I said, this is another chit chat with some wine. So y'all know how we do this. We talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. So I got my notes here, girl. My notes all here. So it is very windy here in DFW. I mean, extremely windy. Um, my baby was out playing for a long time on Friday. JB goes to a, like, you know, who, those of you who've been following me for a while, my son goes to a private school. And on Fridays is their, they call it Friday free day, Friday fun day. And so they have a lot of fun. It's a free day. They do several tests depending on what's going on throughout the week. They will do their tests in the morning. And then the kids play when i mean play they play most of the day which is good and we're okay with that so jb said that um he said that both the teachers were out because one of the teachers was getting married and so the coach was their substitute teacher and child when he said that i saw oh, shit so he said mama he let us outside playing for two hours i said well that's good baby but what happened is that with all the wind and everything running around, JB said he was very winded. He was out of breath. Those of you don't know, my baby has asthma um, and allergies. And so allergies and asthma do not, as allergies and asthma do not work well together when there's a lot of wind and when stuff is blowing around, debris blowing around, hay blowing around. And so when he came home yesterday, my husband picks him up because my husband's off work. We're going to get into that in a minute though. Hold on, let me, <laughs> hold on. This girl, he getting my nerves. He getting my nerves. So um, my husband picked him up and he noticed that he was kind of quiet. Long story short, he's his allergies are very inf inflamed. Um, so he woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, y'all. 4 o'clock this morning, he woke up with 102 fever. And I asked my husband, I'm like, can you have a fever with allergies? He said, yeah, you can, especially if you have a sinus infection. So... He's been on the couch off and on most of the day. And it's, it's off and on. He gets better. He gets worse. He gets better. He gets worse. So, girl, I'm on. I got the Tylenol here. I got the nasal swabs here. And my husband said he's also feeling, you know, a little icky. I'm like, y'all need to be on it. I'm giving, I'm giving everybody vitamin C drops and zinc. <laughs> All of that so that they can feel better today. So, make sure you guys, I will say this is about the temperatures about to drop. We're in fall officially. Please make sure, at least for me, what I like to do is I keep medicine at home. I try to keep um, f uh, fever reducing medication and uh, cough and, and, and anything like that at home. Because the last thing you want to do when you're not feeling well, the last thing you want to do is go out in the middle of the night or go out in the middle of the day to get medication for yourself or even for your children or husband, whoever. So I would say before it gets crazy, make sure you have all of that at home. Make sure that you're taking your vitamins. I even told my husband, I'm like, I'm the one that has, has asthma, but I don't go outside and do all that nonsense when it's crazy like, like this. I make sure that I take my vitamin C, zinc. I take vitamin D, magnesium every 
day so that I and also fish oil I started taking fish oil too but anyway yeah all of that going on making sure that my doctor's appointments are in sync and on deck to make sure that I'm cleared for anything yeah so right now it's a good time and I noticed that in Dallas baby Dallas it is long and hard to get in some time to see these doctors um so yeah that's going on y'all i put down a um two and a half year plan to pay off my debt my credit score is increasing it is looking good those of you who don't know my husband and i had a little break he will for you if you don't know he will say it wasn't a break he would just say that we would just we just well, we had a disagreement. That's his That's his way of thinking. Child, man, he just said, we had a disagreement. I'm like, well, we had a disagreement, but my ass was in an apartment with JB. So I don't know what type of disagreement. Child, anyway. So um, when I when we broke up about, oh my God, like it's been almost four years now. When we broke up, um, my credit was really good. And so when we got back together and, and decided to, you know, hey, we, we're here, I was like, yeah money everywhere because baby my i don't pay for nothing then now i pay for more stuff but then i when i tell you a lot of my my girlfriends will say they they wouldn't say but they would be kind of like well you don't have to do any of that you don't have to pay for i said no i don't have to pay for nothing my husband pays for everything you know so i would say okay let me go to Shein, let me go to walmart let me go to amazon i mean packages all the time coming in money 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 just spending all and so my credit score went down because i just was opening up i'm like i opened up two wafer lines let me tell you something i opened up a wafer line with my maiden name flip around and did it with my married name child i was like okay now I'm Vivian Densa. Let me go ahead and oh, give me another credit card under Vivian Densa. <laughs> Vivian Densa just came from Ethiopia two months ago. So she, <laughs> and I did that. My credit went down. Child, so it's been about three years of me working hard to get it back up. I am less than 40 points away from a 700 credit score. So I'm really working. I have a two and a half year plan to bring my uh, my depth all the way down to where I just have. Where I just have, I want to have just a, a line of credit open and one credit card. I'm not closing on anything else because I've been closing stuff out, which I understand that's not good to do necessarily. So I'm keeping those credit, um, I'm keeping a credit cards and keeping those credit cards open so that my, um, what do you call it, where your limit what you're utilizing on your limits is less than what you actually owe. And so that's what I've been doing. PayPal is good. Other credits is good. Car is good, baby. I am done. Thank God. So, um, and honey, that's a Toyota. I told JB, I said, y'all, let me tell you something. I told JB a couple of months ago, I said, baby, this is a Toyota. Mama just only had it for six years. I can keep this for you when you get he could technically be driving like in like five years, y'all, my baby. Five or six years. JB could be driving. Why did JB say, uh-uh, mama, I don't want that, but we could save it for my wife? I said, what? <laughs> I said, JB, what? Why are we talking about JB's always, JB is the type of child that is very like, he is very adamant that he's going to be married. And oh God, y'all, he still looks at stuff with blinders which i'm kind of grateful for because it just shows how innocent he is and so he made a comment the other day where he was basically he was under the assumption that you can only have kids if you're married because he said i can't remember exactly verbatim what he said but i'm just saying he said oh um i don't think she has a kid because she's not married so on um, in his eyes you don't have kids unless you're married which i'm like I said, I told him, I said, JB, you can actually have kids if you don't, if you're not married. And it happens quite a lot, actually. So I'm kind of glad that he has that innocence in him. And so I even asked him certain things just to test him out. Does he know what this means? And he's like, no, I don't know what it means. But the kids in my school do. And I just look at them, but I don't know what it means. Y'all, he is so, when I tell you, and I don't think he will lie to me. Some things he will eventually do, but I don't think he, JB doesn't have that ability yet to lie and he doesn't want to lie jb doesn't curse i saw a little 
I was on Facebook a couple of days ago and there was a child cursing. They were scaring her. They were going through a haunted car wash first of all car washes can be scary for some kids anyway and this little girl looked like she was around seven or eight years old and she was scared because whatever it was opened up the door and the little girl starts cursing and, and using a lot of profanity i curse but my ass is grown the comments people were laughing and someone below wrote if you don't think your your child doesn't curse, then you're ignorant. And I'm like, my child doesn't curse. My baby doesn't curse, y'all. And not only that, but he doesn't even like to be around people that curse. There was an incident that happened a couple of years ago, and somebody cursed in front of him that he didn't like. And he started crying because he's that sensitive to, you know, using bad language because we don't use the type of bad language around him, okay? So anyway, y'all. Um, that's kind of what's going on in my personal life. Child, hold on. <laughs> okay, I said I was saved, but let me let me have some of this. Now, my husband is um he's not semi-retired. Cause I, I said that in front of someone else and he didn't like that. He said, I'm not retired. I'm like, well, I'm like, but your ass is here <laughs> and you ain't at work. So I feel like you retired. But no, he just said he's taking a break. Okay. So he has been working a contract job off and on since he actually, since we actually moved to Texas in January, but he was not able to find other work. And because the roads can get really bad in Dallas, he decided to stay home until next year, like February, March. And my husband is very good with his money to where he, he can stay home and not, you know, work. And so he pays half the bill. We split our bills up to where he pays half the bills I paid the half. Now, I paid the mortgage because I can do that. And let me tell you something. This is the first time I've had to pay anything like this in years. In like 15 years. And I so I can do it. I'm like, you know what, babe? You did it for like... Not even 15, he did it for about 12 years where he did like all of the major big bills. And I'm like, you know what? I got you. Oh. He's the, he, he leaves me alone because he's very quiet. But every now and then he'll be like, did you see this? Uh, You see this interview with Kanye? And I'm looking at him like, no, I didn't see the interview with Kanye because I'm busy cooking, folding laundry. So no, I didn't see the interview. He said, well, you come over here and watch this this man <laughs> so he will probably go back to work in march of next year god willing but until then we have a couple of things planned i'm the planner but every now and then he will say hey let's do this i just recognize my my glasses is kind of um <clears throat> i'm i'm sorry y'all my glasses is kind of glaring but every now and then he will offer up something but but since it is fall and it is um what i'm trying to say uh festive season we are going to be so busy for the next week at jv school they're going to be busy all week they even have a festival going on on friday <laughs> y'all what i'm watching on youtube i am finding that not finding but from what i understand there was a glitch with youtube where a couple of youtubers were getting demonetized by accident um, I know that Tyrone Magnus, a couple of other YouTubers, I know lovely Tia, several of her, of her videos every now and then, it, it does get demonetized. Um, from what I also understand is some of the drama channels and some of the channels that talk about gossip or celebrity or even journalism, journalism, and I use that term loosely, those channels are being demonetized. But if you are CNN YouTube, MSNBN or NS, MSNBC YouTube or Fox News YouTube, you're not being demonetized if you're talking about the news. Um, I don't want to say this because I don't want to get in flag. It begins with a U and it rhymes with not, not, but boo bang with a U. Is a war going on in Europe with Russia? Those YouTubers are being demonetized too, sadly. So it's, it's really upsetting. Besides that, I like watching some of the old videos of 90 Day Fiance, Child. I, I'm just, the things people do for love, and I'm finding that it's just a lot of people that either have low self-esteem, 
And so when someone reaches out and they have any type of interest, they latch on to that. And that's really sad. Um, I don't really watch it, but I just like to watch little bits and pieces. I don't watch the series in total, in whole, I should say. I rarely have I seen a full episode of 90 Day Fiance, but I get on YouTube and watch little four or five minute clips, if that makes sense. Um, what else? What else? I'm catching up on Wonderland videos. She's doing well. She's going to follow through with her divorce. I will say, and I know a lot of people have, have mentioned on Linda's channel, to, I think she spoke... And she even said this on some of her videos, meaning Linda. She said this in her last video. I mean, say leave that off of social media. People don't need to hear. If you're having any issues, leave it off. If you if there's stuff going on, leave it off. Because there are people, even though they may be in your corner, being your cheerleader, Ruha, they are seriously sitting on a sideline waiting for the bullshit. Excuse my language. They're waiting on the nonsense. They're waiting on the ratchetness. They're waiting to see you fail. Because they, they just live in your demise. So I learned a long time ago not to speak any of that. Don't don't say anything. If they want to know something, call me up. Don't put your business out on social media for people to pick apart. Excuse me, what else is going on? That's about it. All I'm looking at on YouTube. Girl, what I'm watching on TV. I actually have... Girl, before I get into what I'm watching on TV, I started back reading you guys, which I'm an avid reader um, I got rid of tons of books on our way here. I only have, I have less than a hundred books in my library. Um, I love to go, go to Barnes and Nobles to look at books. I love the smell of books. My husband is like making fun of me. He's like, you're one of the few people who still read books. I'm like, no, I'm not. I have a couple of books on my Kindle. That's nice. But I love books. Books smell, wait. This one doesn't smell too good, but the older they are, the better they smell. I love that. Like, this is new. This is new. It smells like ink and paper, new paper. This is old. Oh, that smells good. So let me, <laughs> let me tell y'all what I've been reading. I read recently Terry McMillan. I almost forgot about you. This is a used book that I got off of um, Amazon, thriftbooks.com, but Amazon actually. Terry McMillan, I almost forgot about you. It was good in the beginning, but I hated how this book ended. I don't know if Terry was going through issues with her ex-gay husband, T, girl, T, at the time, but I didn't like the way that book ended. I'm going back to reading my um, number one ladies detective agency, the series written by Alexander McCall Smith. Is he still alive? I was very surprised that this was written by a white man, but he spent a great deal of time in Botswana. I'm on book four of the series. I think I have like two or three more love. And so I had almost finished book four, but I'm going to go back and read this. And then I got this book just today, and I'm a fast reader, you guys. I'm on 100 pages in. This is called, what is it called, y'all? Finley Donovan. It's called Finley Donovan is Killing It. This is a cute little book. So far, it's about a single mom who is struggling with two kids. She's going through a messy divorce, and she's at, like, a restaurant this um she's a, a author she's a struggling author too she's behind on her bills child her electricity got cut off she had to call her ex and say hey can you pay this for me so she decided to meet up with her agent manager because she's an author she's a struggling author and she's talking about her latest book the idea what about her book there's a well there's a woman sitting next to her kind of ear hustling and hearing what she's saying and she's like she's assuming that the author is a hitman is that what you call it she's a um and so she basically passes her a note while the author is at the bathroom was like fifty thousand dollars for you to kill my husband so it goes off from there so i am really excited to read this i don't know when i'm gonna have time to finish it but what i'm trying to do is to read on the weekends or i love to read in the mornings i can do a quick hundred pages 200 pages in the morning this book is just 300 pages yeah i'm a big uh collector of of 
what do you call it, series. So I would collect an entire series. I have nearly all the books by Stephen King. A lot of the books by John Saul. I love thrillers and rice. So anyway, y'all, that's enough for that. I know I went all over the place. What I'm watching on TV. What I'm watching on TV. The Handmaid's Tale Child. I am very, very surprised at how things are going with this series. So spoiler alert. I am going to be giving spoiler. So, um... Uh, yeah, I've been drinking, sorry. So, old girl had her baby. She had her baby. And June is feeling a little sympathetic. She's feeling like, wow, you know, June helped her. Because, hey, June had a baby too. Um, and so, you know, June is like, you know, helping her. And she had it towards the end when, y'all, sorry, I forgot the woman's name. She ends up in the hospital. While she's in the hospital... The cops come, detectives come, and they're like, you're under arrest. They read her rights. They read her her rights. And she's like, okay, but what's going to happen to my baby? And she's like, we're going to put your baby basically in like CPS. And June is surprised. She's like, what's going on? Why are you taking her? I'm like, oh, June, remember what she did to you. Don't cave in, June. But she can't, y'all. The woman just had a baby. So June is sympathetic. And so... They arrest her and go off. And so it's it's about to get really interesting on The Handmaid's Tale. Um, I wanted to say something really quick about the actor Jonathan Majors. He's the black actor that played in Lovecraft Country. Child, I guess the internet had a field day because he got his body tight and ready together. And... The women were going crazy. I was seeing, you know, a couple of pictures of him shared. Let me tell you something. He don't do it for me. Even in Lovecraft Country, I was like, I saw a couple of people that were like, oh, it's the nose for me. I'm like, it's the nose not for me. Yes, he is physically fine, but there is nothing about him that's appealing. Is he, is he a little bow-legged? Maybe, but... <laughs> If you, you ain't a little bow-legged to get you some swagger, he doesn't do it for me. What do y'all think? Again, Jonathan Majors. I was like, okay. I mean, y'all were going crazy over him on Facebook, Instagram especially. I was like, so what? Y'all, I, I, no, he doesn't. I'm sorry. No. No, sorry. Um, Continuing on with Abbott Elementary. I love my girl, Ava. Ava is that person you love to hate. Ava is the principal who don't do a damn thing <laughs> in the series Abbott Elementary on Hulu. I just love the series all around, you guys. It's just feel-good comedy, clean comedy, too, I would have to say. Started back watching The Center Season 4. It is called Percy. If you have not watched The Center, please check it out. The first season, it had Jessica Biel. And it was a little disturbing, but it was good. The second season was not that good. Third season was really good. And now the fourth season, I'm feeling the fourth season too, called Percy on Hulu, The Center, okay? Um, America Horror Story season, is it season 11 or season 14? I can't get into it. We're, we're talking about um, bad houses, people walking around and, and plastic, you know, Giving me, I'm giving, I, I, I'm getting some of the feeling I got from season one with these spandex black and all that, but I can't get into it. So it's a, it's a pass for me for American Horror Story. I rewatched the Wendy Williams movie, y'all, because I just wanted to, and I really did like that movie. Wendy Williams did a really good job on that movie overall. Um, A new series I'm watching on Hulu is called reasonable doubt now it has a woman named i'm gonna butcher her name ima tazy imaya tazy imaya tazy corinna 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 dolly child no <laughs> mckinney freeman and michael ely i am really digging this series now for a warning there is heavy language again it's called reasonable doubt there is a bit of a heavy language. And it basically talks about a lawyer. She started off as a public defender 
who then moves into a private sector as a lawyer. And she's kick ass. She's really good at what she does. Michael Ely is someone that she represented like 16 years before. He decided to, he decides to take a plea deed after 16 years. She's married. Well, she's married, but going through a divorce with Lewis. The actor that plays him is fine to me, you guys. His name is McKinney Freeman. He reminds me of now. Now, if you look at him, you're like, oh, okay. But to me, it's it's the entire package. It's his swagger. It's his intelligence. It's the way he walks. It's his charisma. And he plays her husband, and they're going through a separation. A separation because she basically gave him an alt. Well, sorry, he gave her an ultimatum. It's either you or your career. And she chose her career, which is really interesting. They have two children, um, one preteen and one teen and one teenager, a boy. I will say the language is very heavy and I stopped watching it at after the first the first or second episode because they use the N word a lot, you guys, and I don't use I don't use the N word. She refers to herself, her son, using the N-word. And that's not cool to me. I just don't. But anyway, I, I'm getting past that. I'm continuing to watch it. And Michael Ely. Look, I normally don't go for light-skinned dudes. I did. I have to be careful because my husband. <laughs> my husband's light-skinned. You know, he's red, he's a red bone. But I normally don't go for it. That's not really my thing. But Michael Ely, again, he's one of those. It's the entire package he has that swagger and he does it for me he's so good looking and and this mckinney mckinney who the hell names that child mckinney mckinney's 49 y'all know me and older men once you get over 45 and you a little fine that brings your finest meter up i was hoping it would be like 50 51 y'all overall i like it so i binge watch all the episodes and now i'm caught up and so i'm really excited to see what this um series has in store so y'all i need to go in and cook and that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers take care